Hey everyone, welcome back to Mixology Fabe. Today we have an exciting unboxing of the new Geek Fabe L200, formerly known as the Geek Fabe Legend Kit. If you own a Geek Fabe Aegis X, you will know that the legend is its brother. It is a slightly different design that has a smaller screen and is just built slightly different. Just like its brother, the L200 is rated IP68, which means it is waterproof, shockproof, and dustproof. Now, when I say it's waterproof, please don't take it swimming. <laughs> we have had customers taking these for a swim or dropping them in water and still breaking the device. It is rated waterproof, but I would say it's more splashproof. Now, the first thing that I notice is the difference in size compared to the original Legend. It is significantly lighter and a lot smaller, which makes it very convenient for people who want a bigger mod, but on the go. It still contains the bottom battery door for two 18650s. From a first glance, I love the leather look and the metal finish on it. It makes it look very fancy. Now, what I do like about the L200 is that the wattage lock and the actual fire lock is now on the side. It is a separate lock as opposed to having to press the button three times as we had to in the past. We've got your main fire button here and your up and down wattage buttons as well. Now, apart from that, we also have a dust proof USB-C charger port up here. Let's have a look at the actual tank that comes with the device. It is the Geek Vape Zeus, which has been renamed Z series. So although it still has the picture of Zeus and it takes the same Zeus coils, it just has been renamed. The most popular thing about this tank is obviously your top flow. For people that do struggle with a lot of leaking, this might be a solution. Changing coils is very easy. You just unscrew the bottom. If you do end up struggling with taking out the coil, the pack actually provides you a little tool to help you pull it out. You want to basically use the tool to wedge it underneath the coil and pop it out very slowly. However, when you reinstall the coil, just be very mindful that there are two little latches on the side. Just make sure that you do align them with the tank so it fits in properly and it doesn't cause any leaking. Now, filling up your device is just as easy with this twisting mechanism, which has been copied from the original Cerberus tank they had. So you twist and unlock. The only thing I will say when you do take off the cap is that this part of the airflow can actually come off. So make sure you reinstall it and don't lose it. Otherwise, you cannot change your airflow. Other than that, you also have a 510 thread, so you can actually interchange the tanks or pop this tank on a different mod if you have one. And of course, you've got your A10 drip tip. I have just placed two 18650 batteries in the bottom. Let's just see how this one works. Five clicks to switch it on. One, two, three, four, five. Switch it on. There we go. See how the wattage is locked right there in the green icon? You can flip that up, unlock it and change your wattage that way. In the past, when you locked your wattage, it wouldn't necessarily lock the fire buttons. So this device could technically still fire if it was sitting in your pocket and something was pressing against the button. So the cool thing now is when we lock the wattage again, it also locks the fire button. So you can technically leave this device on. I wouldn't recommend it, but if you do end up forgetting to switch this device off, there is a safety feature on it and it does make sure that you can't fire it. Now, looking at the spare parts for this device, you also get a spare coil, of course. The pre-installed coil that we have in the device is a 0.2, which goes from 70 to 80 watts. And then the spare coil is a 0.24, which goes from 45 to 57 watts. Now, there is a large variety of coils that you can buy off our website that goes at different ranges. So definitely have a look down in the description below. Other than that, we also have a spare glass when you do smash your glass. So there is always a spare to come to the rescue. We do actually have tank bands as well that you can pop around them. So it does protect them even more. And of course, we have a charger cable, which is USB-C. Thank you for watching, everyone. This was everything I had to say about the L200 today. If you wish to purchase this device, there will be a link down the bottom in the description or pop into the store for a chat with our staff members and have a closer look at this gorgeous vape. That was everything from me today and I will see you in the next video.